When NBA's latest episode of 2K TV came out, people were frustrated because we got the same wreck as we had as last year. But what if I told you there's information out there letting you know that rec will be the funnest game mode in nba 2k24 well i'm about to show y'all right now and we're gonna start with the first and most important thing which is saving you vc now when you play and win a my career game you usually get around 300 to 400 vc per game now if you're trying to buy boosts to make your player to his most elite level one single boost is worth 200 vc and that's not even talking about gatorade but one individual gatorade boost is worth 500 vc now you're already playing at a loss and you haven't even thought about making a new build yet now when you come to wreck you can actually get like from 700 to like 1400 vc now you can actually think about going and using boost because the vc matches up and even if you don't want to use boost you can really use this vc to go out and make your next build and this is the same for the legend grind if you didn't know the rep system is back for nba 2k24 and what mode gives you the best rep y'all know now we also got information on this new badge system and now badges require you to be able to grind them now as you see right here we have badge levels um and you have to grind each individual badge to the next level now i'm gonna go over this real quick not hitting necessarily everything 2k said once you created your player and started your career the badge collecting journey begins we're happy to bring you all new badge progression system that is all about proving who you are on the court game in and game out in-game badge levels are determined by badge usage meaning how often they're firing off in the game over time from game to game your uses and skills with the badge are being evaluated and your badge level will start to trend towards the level that matches your plate badges with high usage and success will trend towards the higher levels within your potential while badges with lower usage and success will trend towards the lower level now there are actual ways to do this without actually playing wreck like they say in one of these lower paragraphs where they say uh practice makes perfect badge level progression can also be worked on in team practice facility the gatorade training facility and at chris brickley's gym but if you don't want to go out there and do the drills or play against the ai stuff like that your best way to upgrade these badge levels fast is through the wreck now one of the biggest issues that really used to make the gameplay of the wreck irritating is when you had players standing out of bounds now mike wayne tweeted about this and he said yes off player out of bounds has been added to the grieving rules players who do it will grade out and then wood who actually is a 2k uh dev he retweeted huge quality of life change for all my rec players out there grieving ruins the gameplay experience for everyone now we know that when somebody comes out there and gets mad because maybe they didn't get the ball on the first possession or the second possession and now they want to just be stupid the game is going to get them up out of there because they over there acting stupid so it's going to make the game more fun for everybody else but once they're out of there now we're stuck with an ai and everybody knows the nba 2k23 ais were worthless they helped for no reason they couldn't shoot they were just pointless you were almost automatically losing the game once you got an ai now mike wayne the head of the gameplay developers said wreck bots will be noticeably better timing their shots but it's tough to balance we want them to be competent but not op we will be looking out for your guys' feedback on that next month and then wolf again one of the devs he said try not to call for the ball so quickly let the ai take the open jumper aim to play good basketball in nba 2k24 and that's not just it he wanted to follow up on that he said speaking of wreck ai's it's a lot harder to step back cheese the ai they play much tighter on ball defense so we got that cheese up out of there ai's also play tighter off ball defense making it harder to cheese catch and shoot threes on them that's another one we got up out of there and then ai's also drop less frequently from the corner to help in the paint with paint defense 
So again, now we will have competent AIs actually to keep the gameplay going, keeping it good. But then I got something else that's been irritating for the wreck. And we talking about ghost contest, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna let y'all hear from somebody who actually played NBA 2K24 early right here. So as y'all hear right there, the boy said, you're not gonna be able to just bait the passing lanes or, or play the paint and then still be able to get back and contest somebody shooting from the three. We know how irritating that was. Now there's gonna be more shots flying. We gonna let it fly all through the day going wreck. It's gonna be way more going on, way more easier back is going on because you have to actually play good team defense. You can't just use the animations to bail you out. Now this brings me to another thing, which is passing lane. We know how over P passing lanes was in the wreck. It was super hard to get the ball anywhere over the court because people were getting steals all the time just by pressing the steal button. Now Bad Plug tweeted at Mike Wayne asking him, what do you think has the biggest skill gap in gameplay on NBA 2K24? And Mike Wayne responded saying, meter dunks and pass interceptions, in his opinion. Now we know that the interceptions won't come as easy as they were coming in NBA 2K23. So you will be actually able to spread the ball around, encouraging team basketball. And on top of that, we got some new playmaking badges that actually are gonna help with passing too. We got relay passer, a hockey assist badge, Relay passer provides a boost to shooters in a pass to assist situation. So if I pass it to somebody and then they kick it to the next person, and if they got relay passer on, then the person, the third person that got the ball would get a boost to a shot. Then we also got touch passer. I am huge on this one. It sucks sometimes that we have to wait on the animation and I can see a guy wide open in the corner. They passed it to me and I want to swing it real fast to the guy wide open in the corner but I gotta go through the animation. Now we got a badge that allows you to quickly pass the ball to that open man, getting them a faster shot. Now the czar, one of the 2K devs actually tweeted, which then got retweeted, then he retweeted the retweet. And, and I don't know what, anyway, and he said in 24, they did work on getting some air under the white pass. So I have had plays where I see the big running and white pass over the defense for the transition score. He said it felt incredible. And then again, he got retweeted by Wolf, another fellow dev saying, for all my playmakers, try not to default to A slash X passes all the time. Utilize the Y slash triangle live pass and the B slash circle bounce pass in suitable situations for 2K24. So now we got actually more skill, more, more better, more better animations. <laughs> we got better animations when it comes to passing. So now you can actually get the ball moving around the court and it doesn't feel so cramped and, and, and just, you know what I mean, compacted in there. Now, another thing, when we're in wreck, there's a lot of people out there moving around and everything like that. And we get a lot of little glitchy little animations that 2K necessarily wasn't prepared to put in the game. But now with pro play, these little animations were actually captured. And you see right here, while they're saying, while the primary actions certainly benefit from the ultra realistic tech, they aren't the only areas you'll notice. Casual inbound passes and otherwise unremarkable motions that aren't a priority during mocap have now been scanned to cover even the most minute details. The way we move up and down the court, how we move off ball, Screens, people don't talk about screens. And on top of that, you see, now we got different badges for big men. So now you can actually be an inside big set of screens. You're going to get better animations. You get better passes over to you. Spot finder, by utilizing the get open mechanic, uh, spot finder would allow players to receive a speed boost off the ball to get an open space with a raised chance of knocking down a shot off of the ensuing catch. And then on defense, you got badges like fast feet that allows the defender to get a speed boost. 94 feet, you can play better defense coming up the court. Now again, we're gonna actually be able to let it fly because ghost contests and stuff like that is gonna be out. And they got new badges as y'all see right here 
that's going to even make it be better. And so I broke down the shooting information we got so far in NBA 2K24 in this video. So if y'all want to check that out, man, click on this link, man, right here.